Today, we will dive into the exciting world of diamond mining. We will see the operations of the Ikal diamond mine in Yakutia, Russia, the world's biggest diamond mine by reserve size as of 2025, operated by Alrosa, Russia's state-owned diamond giant. Let's explore how diamonds are extracted here, the mining process, and the scientific magic that turns rough rocks into sparkling diamonds. The Icol mine isn't just one site, it's a collection of diamond-rich deposits. They call those deposits, pipes. Icol mine includes different pipes such as Jubilee pipe, Icol pipe, Komsomolskaya pipe, and Zarya pipe. Located in the remote, frigid tundra of Saka Republic, which is in the Siberian region, this mine taps into ancient kimberlite pipes. What is a kimberlite pipe? Kimberlite pipe is a volcanic formation that carried diamonds and other minerals from deep within the Earth's mantle millions of years ago. With 175.56 million carats of diamonds still in reserve, Icol produces around 8 million tons of ore annually, yielding roughly 1.3 million carats of diamonds each year. That's enough to fill a small truck with rough diamonds. Most of them are not good enough to become dazzling jewelry. They are destined for industrial use. Only a small portion can make it into those luxury jewelry stores. And that's why diamond jewelry is so expensive. So how do they get these diamonds out of the ground? At iCall, it's a mix of brute force and precision engineering. The Jubilee and Komsomolskaya pipes use open pit mining. Picture this. Massive excavators claw away layers of frozen soil and rock called overburden to expose the kimberlite ore beneath. Then, controlled blasts fracture the ore, breaking it into manageable chunks. A single blast can loosen up to 45,000 tons of ore. Giant haul trucks, some carrying 300 tons at a time, transport the broken rock to processing plants. However, not all of Icol's diamonds are near the surface. The Icol pipe, for example, switched to underground mining in 1997. Here, miners tunnel deep into the earth using a method called cut and fill. They carve out sections of ore, blast it loose and fill the empty spaces with waste rock to stabilize the mine. The Jubilee pipe, currently at 390 meters deep, is set to reach 720 meters, nearly half a mile underground. It's a high-tech operation in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Now, the real science begins once the ore reaches the processing plant. Kimberlite rock isn't exactly packed with diamonds. On average, it takes 250 tons of ore to find just one carat, or 0.2 grams, of diamond. Just imagine, from 16 to 25 truckloads of rocks can make only 0.2 grams of diamond. How they tease these tiny treasures out of the rock, it's quite a science. First, the ore is crushed into smaller pieces, usually no larger than 150 millimeters, using massive jaw crushers. Sometimes a secondary roll crusher grinds it even finer, down to 18 millimeters or less. This breaks the kimberlite apart without damaging the diamonds, which is the hardest natural substance known. Next, the crushed ore is scrubbed in a rotating drum with water to wash away loose dirt and clay. It's then screened. Material smaller than 1.5 millimeters is discarded because it's too costly to process for the tiny diamonds it might hold. The remaining ore is the good stuff ready for separation. Here's where physics takes over. The ore is mixed with a dense solution of ferrosilicon powder and water tuned to a specific gravity. This slurry is pumped into a cyclone, a spinning vortex that sorts materials by density. Heavy stuff like diamonds sinks to the bottom while lighter waste rock floats away. The result? A diamond-rich concentrate at the bottom. Now, the concentrate goes through high-tech recovery. Diamonds have unique properties. They repel water and glow under X-rays. On grease tables, crushed ore is washed over a Vaseline-coated surface. Diamonds stick to the grease while wet rocks slide off. Then, X-ray machines zap the concentrate, detecting diamond fluorescence. A puff of air blasts the glowing diamonds into a collection bin. It's like finding needles in a haystack with lasers. Finally, the rough diamonds are cleaned in an acid bath washed, weighed, and packaged in tamper-proof containers under the Kimberly process, ensuring they're conflict-free. From here, they're shipped to cutting centers or labs for industrial use. From the frozen depths of Icol's kimberlite pipes to the cutting-edge science of extraction, the journey of a diamond is a tale of human ingenuity and nature's wonders, with 175.56 million carats still waiting, this mine will keep sparkling for decades. Next time you see a diamond, remember, 
It's not just a gem, it's a masterpiece mined from the earth itself. Though there are lab-grown diamonds as well, we will talk about it some other day.